Welcome back. Exactly like one second after I recorded the Elk, uh, I mean the Mia unboxing, and now we are on to the Elk unboxing. Don't mind that. So I mainly uh, got this pre-con deck, not because it was all of this, but because it had this Elk. He, this is the most hardest starter deck to obtain <laughs> anywhere. Like, for dot .hack enemy, and it's just, like, insane how hard it is to get. I couldn't find it online. I could not find this online. That should just be an indication right there of how hard it should be <laughs> to get this thing. And I'll probably be doing a giveaway for the other four of them I have. Plus Mia. Mia, why not, you know? They should always go together. <laughs> but, yeah, it, I don't... Uh, Dot Hack Enemy was a lot more easier to collect a few years back, I was told. I wasn't ever... I didn't get into Dot Hack Enemy in, like, 2017. Sorry, tape is still hard to get off. But, it, it, I don't... I don't think, like, prices have gone up too much for Dot Hack Enemy at all. I think it's more like just some parts of it have gone away. Like, the Dot Hack Enemy uh, gift set... I still want to get one of those, but it's impossible to find online. You can find, like, old listings for them that have already been taken up or just not there anymore. But you can't ever, like, find it back there. Oh, this is strange. This is a little stupid, but here it is. So, the tape, if you can see, the tape on the Elk one is on the front while the Mia ones are on the back. Yet they still both open up via the back right here. Uh, of course, I dent it. Mm. I'm so glad I'm not really a collector. <laughs> like, I am a collector of this in a, in a small way, like, just getting the starter sets, but, like, I'm not a... I haven't gotten, like, all the booster sets and all that. I haven't gone deep into the, uh... into playing too much yet. I really do want to, but I haven't played a card game in so long. Like, my last card game... I ever was like into was Pokemon and even then it was just like I was not good at it and never actually playing it the real way you know I was more mostly in it just for collecting the cards all right so let's peel this set open I don't know too much about this one I know the Mia set the Mia starter deck is the uh is one of the best ones because it just has a lot of really good cards to it, but with the Elk one, I was always just unsure. I think it's kind of just like a normal deck for the most part. Okay, so Elk 2.0. You can have plus one hand size for each of your healthy PCs. Sorry to keep you waiting for here for so long. Discard two PCs or one PC if you're, or if you're placing any Elk. And I just noticed I didn't do an intro for this video primarily. I just said, like, hey, we're starting right off from where we left off. Um, and I'm not going to fix that. Uh, Squidboo, Squidbod, that's a thing now, uh, Golden Grunty, oh, Golden Grunty, hey, am I gonna get plus 30 HP now for it, Spot, um, Thunder, your PC must have just won a fight to play, and then down here, play any number of items on that PC, you may then replace him or her with a level 2 PC, ignoring to play requirements. A valuable item providing an extra HP. Nice! Hackberry King. Huh, i never actually seen this variation of him. I like the Mushroom King variation, you know? Don't eat the Hackberries. Spot four plants in your portal. Opponent sacrifices a card. He or she may prevent this by playing an event. That is... Mmm... I mean, like, you'd have to have a fully plant-based deck for that to mainly be anything efficient. Oh, I haven't really gotten a shiny item like this before. Uh, Mountain Guard. Heavy boots feature earth-based protection magic. Bear may, may be any PC bearing armor <laughs> except a Wave Master, Twin Blade, or Long Arm. Hmm. So you'd actually... Wait, does that mean you'd have to have different armor on for the, you to equip that? Oh, uh, elk, just normal elk again. When you play a PC, you may heal a PC. Aromatic grass, have you found any? <laughs> Deadly present. Cool. 
Fiend uh, Minher. Oh, I love these guys, but I still have a lot of them. Crest, Mushroom King, Mezurzot, Midnight Axe. Ooh, I got another one of those now. Nice. Hungry Grass Patch. Mad Grass Patch. Look, I got patches of grass now. Deadly Moth. Mushroom King. Deadly Moth. Nikozuki 2.0. Like my cats, I can't eat hot food. I can, <laughs> I have to let it get cold before I eat anything. <laughs> Snap the grass. Fiend men her gout. <sighs> Why is it a gallery? Like, it's a groupie. <sighs> it's not art. Oh, God. Okay, whatever. Mad grass patch. Crest. Temp 2.0. Thousand Trees, Elk, Ganbashers, Setback, You Monster Me, Just Want to Fight. Opponents take four cards from his or her deck, discard pile under his or her deck. Hmm. That's actually not too bad. Battle Axe, another Battle Axe, Hungry Grass, Diabolic Wand. Oh, I love this wand. Looks so awesome. I always loved that design. I think it's a different type, though, or something. I think I had, like, a dark version of it or something. <laughs> Under grass patch again, another diabolic wand. Nice, I have one for my collection and one for, like, my personal, just nostalgia collection. <laughs> Snap of grass, pylon axe, mad grass, fiend minher, mohern gallery. Nice! Crest, thousand, <laughs> thousand trees, Tim 2.0, suki, mad grass, fireman's coat. Another fireman's coat, hey. Midnight axe. I think this one... A slightly more variation in cards than the uh, Mia one did, but still, the Mia ones are really good overall, just like to use as an actual deck instead of just like getting more cards to make your own custom deck. Well, thank you. That was the Elk Starter Deck unboxing. And uh, yeah, thank you for joining me today. Really appreciate it.